3D printer frame build video number one. Right, so what have I got so far? Okay, well, let's actually start with the frame. So what this is, is 30 by 30 ITM aluminium extrusion. It's the light version, so it's the cheaper version. Um, as you can see, it is rigid, but it, it, there's hollow sections in part of it, which make it a bit lighter and a bit cheaper. So what I've got here is, I've actually got six lengths at 700, five lengths at 500, and five lengths at 450. I will put uh, a description of the bits I'm using later on. But this is just for anyone who's thinking about building a printer, doesn't want to spend a thousand pound plus on an Ultimaker, but wants something that can print and can be upgraded and, and do bigger things than, than what's currently on the market. I suppose this is a an experimentation type. Uh, yeah, this, this is an experiment really. Um, I want to make a printer. I want it to be cheap. It needs to be reliable, easily maintained, um, adaptable and future proof. So as things progress and move on, it can be adapted and changed and will grow to suit. That's the idea of this. And uh, I hope anyone who's thinking of doing the same uh, might find some of this interesting. Probably not, but uh, in, in none the same. I'm doing it anyway. So. Okay, so linear rods. Two 8 mils. I've got all these aluminium brackets. By the way, everything is practically from China, albeit these were NEMA 17s. They are the largest NEMA 17s. Um, these were £15 off eBay, um, I think from Maker Hut. So not bad, couldn't get them from China any cheaper, so uh, happy with them. Smaller NEMA 17s, these I did get from China, whatever these are. So focus, you have to excuse me, I've only got an, a, cam a phone for a camera, it's not very good. Let's try doing that. No, doesn't want to work. Rubbish camera. And it's upside down anyway. Come on. That is terrible camera. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's what these ones are. Only small ones just for the drive. Um, I'm going to do a Bowden tube type arrangement. Anyway, let me carry back on with these. So, two eights, two tens, two twelves. Twelves at 500, tens at 400, eights at 400. I've got some 10 R2, so that's 10 mil diameter, two mil pitch lead screws with Durlin, Durlin nuts there. These actually were from Britain, but I think only the machine Durlin was bit was Britain. That's bet those bits they bought from China anyway. And my camera's not working. Terrible thing. Come on, right. Um. So yeah, stepper motors, linear rods, a couple of ten R two or ten T R two, whatever they're called. Um, I can't remember. Lead screws. I mean, they're not proper lead screws. They've just got a thread. Um, I have turned this one down to put a bearing and a pulley on it. Um, it wasn't extremely hard to turn down, so it's nothing special. Uh, okay, right. A standard Mark III. I believe it's the Mark III. Mark III hot plate on 24 volts. Uh, I think that's the E3D V6 hot end. 
these are about five pound off of china so cheap as you like i hope i bought about four of those i bought 1.5 1.75 and three mil not quite sure what i'm going to use uh, i think i'm well yeah i think i'm going to stick with 1.75 but i bought the both anyway i quite like this this is off the mini colossus um aluminium extruder dry for a bowden tube um, I quite like this one better than the other one. Um, just goes together better and it's engineered better. And yeah, anyway. Um, uh, I've got the Maker MKS base type board. It's just a ramps, Arduino built in, all in one. A couple of fans to cool the, cool the old stepper drivers in there. Come on, camera. You really don't like me. So yeah, some heat sinks on the steppers. Fans to cool the steppers. Some heat sinks on the MOSFET outputs. Just to keep those cool. Standard LCD. Nothing special there. Um, I have, obviously I'm, power I'm actually powering this whole board from 24 volts. Come right. 24 volts um, and what I've done is put a couple of small voltage regulators up there just underneath the fans there's one at the front and there's one at the back and you can see though what they do is one is to basically get these down to 12 volts I've actually only put 9 volts on these because they're quite noisy and they don't need to be that fast and the other 12 volts that is driven from the fan Remember, driven from the fan output it drives that regulator and that regulator then basically drives this fan on the end of the extruder so uh, that fan is although originally fed from 24 volts it's regulated down by two little regulators in there this isn't finished by any means it's just a way so I can put it all together without shorting anything out or breaking anything whilst I'm building this really come on camera you will have to excuse me so yeah nothing special it's just a ramps Arduino board standard normal I think I've got the 8825 8825 I think it's, I think it's the, those number that model of the stepper driver um, they, they were no dearer than the uh, the the other ones the 998 version I think or whatever they are um, so yeah they do the business they uh, step the motors around that's, that's all we need uh, I think they're only regulated to about 2 amps so or, or they're limited to 2 amps with heat sinks which obviously I've put on there um, they don't really get hot the actual steppers get hotter more than the the drivers do um, so yeah uh, control board hot end I have um, had a go at printing well by hand I made a couple of squares and bits and pieces um, yeah let's let's get it on an XY axis and do something proper shall we uh, right what's in here this is basically what I've got from China, which is oh, boxes and bits and oh, belts and couplings and pulleys. There's all sorts 16, 20 teeth, 36 teeth, 40 teeth, various types of linears. There's the other hot end. That's the, oh no, that's the 1.75. There's a six, uh, 3 mil. Another one here somewhere. There's another three mil. So I mean, we have five pound each. You get a fan, you get the fittings, you get a heater, you get a, a nozzle, you get you get the whole thing for about five pound, including delivery. You you just might as well, aren't you? Uh, I did I did want to source everything from Britain, um, from the UK. Uh, it's just too expensive it would have cost me four times the amount i've waited six weeks for a lot of this four to six weeks should i say but it, it turns up eventually and it's a lot cheaper 
Um, I have bought some Igus bearings. These are 8 mil. I probably won't use them. Uh, belts. More couplings. I've got another box around here. And in here is all the linear rod brackets and standoff bits and pieces. There's other junk in here. It's not just 3D printer stuff. I've just uh, had to find somewhere to put it all. So, yes, this is what, I'm where, what I've got and where I am. I've got some aluminium. Mm, lovely, shiny aluminium. I've got a sofa of bits that is doing nothing sat there. And I've got a desk of metally things doing nothing sat there. Yeah, if I could just get that into that with that yeah, might be able to do something. We shall see. End of video number one. Thanks for watching.